Hey ladies and gentlemen, Simon here with a brand new reaction series. Yes, I am coming back to reactions on the channel with a new series. Um, had a little bit of a break over the last couple of weeks. Um, still been keeping up with the anime channel. If you haven't checked that out, please do. I have an anime reactions channel that I'm watching a few anime shows on. I will leave that in the description and also in the comments. Um, but I'm back here on the main channel, sort of reacting to some of the live shows that I used to watch. Um, that'll be slowly kicking back up over the next few weeks. So, uh, yes, we'll be back. It's going to take some time, but we're moving on with a new show today. It's The Boys. The Boys Season 1, and this is a show that I've had earmarked for a while now to watch. People have asked me to watch it for a while, and um, I'd originally planned to watch it back when it came out last year. I remember watching the um, the trailer for it and thinking, wow, that looks pretty cool. And just never getting around to really having the chance to watch it, you know. Um, I don't know why, I think my schedule was pretty full for most of the year. I didn't want to watch it on my own because I thought, you know, it's a short series, it looks pretty fun. And uh, it'd be a great one to react to. And um, I just never got around to it. And now with season two on the horizon, I thought, you know what? It's time to get my head down and just watch the show. Um, you know, so here we are. Um, I, again, I don't know much of the premise. It's been like a year since I watched the trailer. I know it's about superheroes who, in actuality, they're actually not good people. Um, and so... You know, it, it's at first I was kind of thinking, oh, is this a bit of a, a sort of a piss take of, you know, superheroes and comics, you know, and it's kind of like showing you that the heroes present this big, grandiose, charismatic and, and good sort of persona. But deep down, the people who you don't really know and, and you know, they have different. So it's, it's an alter ego. A, a superhero is an alter ego of a person. And um, I'm guessing that, you know, it's going to focus very much on the hidden side of the superhero. But I'm very excited to find out exactly, you know, what is going to happen with this show. Because, um, like I say, I've not really had too much of a chance to... Um, I haven't rewatched really the trailer. I haven't really gone in and sort of, um, you know, looked at the, you know, synopsis of the show. Um, but from the people who I've spoken to who... Um, have sort of watched the show they've said it's really good it's quite gory is one of the comments i've been given which is interesting because you know i i, I didn't i didn't imagine I, I knew it was going to get um i knew it was going to get like graphic but because i remember i i think i remember it's particularly in the the trailer there was a couple of graphic scenes but i wasn't sure if it was going to be like a uh, consistent kind of feature so it's uh it's gonna be fun to see exactly what's gonna happen but we are gonna jump in um if you haven't please do consider subscribing to the channel because um again i'm back here now i'm making regular content and so i would love it for you all to uh well be made aware of when i'm releasing new videos um as i say shows like teen titans shows like arrow gotham they're all coming back it's just gonna take a little while for me to kind of you know get back into the mode of recording and editing and, you know, getting everything back in. So, um, but this is going to be a good start with the boys. So before we do, I want to say a big thank you to my Patreon super supporters, which is Frank Tremel, Karen Abel, Ace, Nick Walters, The Seven Deadly Sins, Damon Smallwood, Michael Y, Irish Cal, Rich Affer, and our newest Patreon super supporter, Isabel Grow Luis, which I hope I pronounce that correctly um so without further ado let's jump in and let's see what happens next is this a rip on the marvel intro thing i like it nice wow this show's got a high budget for uh CGI. Oh! He's melting the gun. <laughs> Is this guy supposed to be Captain America mixed with Superman? 
Oh shit, I think I remember this from the... When you ever... I remember this from the trailer. Oh. Yep. I remember it from the trailer. Oh shit. Oh my god, look, that is... That is horrendously graphic. Robin? Oh no! Oh no! 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 There's no legal claim. But, Thought wants to do the right thing. Offer you 45000 in restitution. All you have to do is They're trying to pay him off. Him, and I'll offer you the check. It's a it's a dis non disclosure thing, isn't it? Confidentiality agreement. Yeah, they're trying to buy his silence. There's no case. She was in the street. Be like if a bus hit. Like if a bus hit. That she was one step I, off the curb. Wait, look, I saw look. it. You can't do this. Why not, Dad? I you that's not something you want your kid. Whoa, that's it's Dad saying that. That's not something you want to hear your father say. I'm sorry, but it's it's true. Neither do I. And Lord of the Seven Seas, live and in person, the Deep. The Deep. So these are all kind of takes on existing superheroes, with some little extras thrown in. Oh no, he's everywhere. Oh, he is. He's really everywhere. Jesus Christ, is this just a store for him? He picked the wrong store to come... Oh, Jesus. What? What? <laughs> I mean, you said you had a crush on me. I figured that, you know. Uh, wow. Oh, hey, look, you're gorgeous. I'm not, I'm not talking about sex. What? Cold smoking. What else are you whoa, 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 talking wait, 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 wait. about? Fishing? How bad you want to be in the seven. Oh, no. Really? Excuse me? Oh. 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 Hey, take it easy. Sweetheart, the defender of Des Moines just went psycho on the deep. Oh, no! I told you the nice teas would not last. Yeah. I mean, that, that's not what you really want, right? Jesus. Or we come together as a team. No, no one's coming, all right? Just roll with the punches. That's For like wrong. Three minutes, maybe. It's not a big deal. That's where I come in. Come in to, to do what? Spank the bastards when I get out of line. Okay, I like this guy. Come on, son. I, I thought he was going to be like a villain at first. You love it. He gives off that vibe and... Uh, listen, I think this is good. I'm good. Yeah. Uh, thank you for an extremely weird conversation. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Clean yourself up. Never let them see you like this. This isn't your goddamn pervert. Oh no, he's there. I didn't need the full shot. All of them, even Homelander. With full PR support, and I'm gonna give you nine and a half points of the merchandising. I thought he was in Detroit. So they're using them well, more I'm as. About making a move. How much? They're just three hundred million for a superhero. They're just pimping out superheroes. Who's up for that? Black Noir. Let's start with you, man. I get the feeling Black Noir is kind of a take on Black Panther, and uh, 
Obviously, with the stuff going on this week with Chad McBoseman passing away, it's kind of it's tough. Just to be clear, A Train's apology isn't an admission of any sort of culpability whatsoever. Do you understand? Oh, shit, he's seeing him. Is that it? Oh, God. Uh oh. Oh, God, it's the same. Oh, he's going to realise. He's going to realise. Hold on, are they unisex toilets? Did he go into the wrong toilets? Oh, God. What the fuck? Why do you peek on everyone and why are you always nude? Who are you? The fuck? Right in front of you, prick. You're invisible, prick. You think I wouldn't find this thing? Champions of the innocent, motherfucker! Oh, fuck! I love the fact he's still invisible. Sorry about the mess. Oh! A very good use of blood, though. Translucent doesn't even mean invisible. That means semi transparent. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh. Nice. Oh, God. Not on the ass. Yeah, okay. So, look. Technically, I'm not a fed. I was going to say, I didn't think you could be in the FBI if you weren't an American citizen. Oh, no. The kid's on the plane. Oh no. Oh no. Wow. What a shot to end though. Okay, I'm on board with this. I... There's a lot to unpack there. There is a lot to unravel and analyse because... There was just about every extreme you can expect from a TV show in just that first episode. Um, I love the premise. I love the idea of superheroes that have been corporatized. Like, they are literally... This this vote family is just... It's like a pimp. It's like a pimp pimping out all of these superheroes for money. You know, it, it's... For movies. You know, it's it's... A very interesting depiction of what could happen if superheroes real you know it's they are they are a conglomerate they are the worst bits of capitalism kind of pushed to the forefront it's almost as if you know the ideals of you know the american way in terms of you know superheroes are supposed to represent the pinnacle of what you know freedom is supposed to be you know liberty justice you know, equality, um, and it shows you what can happen to that when the worst parts of capitalism merge with it. You essentially get this super high, superhero for higher business with, you know, these very corrupt, greedy, you know, executives who want one thing, power and money, I guess, two things, power and money. And, you know, depicting the heroes in the way, and, and I very much predicted that it was going to go that way, you know, superheroes who have a shady counter life, you know, like uh, uh, they're, they're, their alter egos are pristine and they are, you know, unblemished, but the people are very different. And that could not have been more true. And I did not, I did not see how true that was going to be. That was some horrendous stuff. I mean, you know, you you've got the deep who in a time of 
sexual predators being exposed and you know people rightfully being you know found out for who they are um and it's strange because it's it, it's especially relevant in the reactor community in the last couple of days you know for those of you who are aware of what's been going on in the reaction community you'll know what i'm talking about it's just so it's just so strange and it was it was very i mean i i i genuinely there's very few times in shows when i actually am watching something and i am actually deeply shocked because you know i've seen everything you know tv kind of it, it dulls your senses it dulls your um your ability to be sickened by something because you know we've seen everything nowadays we've seen the worst you know it's it's not it's not new but that moment when he's there with his pants down in front of Starfire and you realize what's going on and who he is. Like, I, I had an idea that his nice guy persona was eventually going to fade away and we'd find out that he is some kind of dick. You know, he's 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 not a nice guy. I didn't expect it, one, to be so sudden and two, to be in the way that it was for him to be such a sexual predator, a rapist. That's all that you can really say. Um... And just the bluntness of it is what shocked me, you know, just seeing that situation go down, you know, bad choice of words go down. That's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll not, we'll not describe it that way, but seeing that situation play out and actually watching the victim, it really makes you, it puts you into that situation and it makes you realize, you know, when you hear about something, when you hear about someone being sexually assaulted, it's hard to put yourself in that position unless you've been there. And here we saw it happening. And that's that's what was quite shocking for me. Um, and so, you know, I was kind of like, okay, that star is messed up. That is so messed up. Um and you know, then you've got the invisible guy, tran translucent, I think his name is and he's going around naked everywhere in the bathroom. I, I thought at first it was the women's bathroom. And I don't know if it's like a unisex bathroom or what. But he was there like perving on the women. You know. And I'm just like wow. You know. So far you've got. At least from the male members of the seven. You've got Homelander. Who was just killed. In, not innocent people necessarily. Some innocent people like a kid. He just killed a kid. He's killed a corrupt politician and, you know, obviously everyone else who was on board that plane. He's got no qualms about murdering people, obviously. You've got the deep sexual predator. You've got translucent, again, pervert, potential sexual predator and someone who is probably okay with murdering. Um, you've got A-Train, who we saw, again, whilst he didn't intentionally kill... Um, you know, Huey's girlfriend. He had no regrets. He had no, you know, he showed no sympathy at all. And he was laughing about it. You know, that that's that's messed up. The only the only ones we didn't we didn't see much of Black Noir. Who speaking of Black Noir, I, I said how Homelander seemed to be a bit of a take on Captain America mixed in with Superman. Um, Black Noir, I think, is obviously a a take on Black Panther, and you know this this video is recorded only a couple of days after the announcement of Chadwick Boseman passing away. It's just very it's very strange to see, you know, even though it's not that character, it's to see someone having a take on that character. It just kind of makes you feel a bit strange. Um, and that's why I say again, this is, it's kind of weird timing that I watch this right now. You know, the only one, the only one that we didn't really get to see much of in terms of, uh, whether there's anything good or bad about them other than Black Noir was the, the other female member of the Seven. I mean, she, she definitely seems like she knows what's been going on. She's probably been subjected to the same treatment herself, but she's kept quiet. And I think that in of itself makes her culpable because she... I mean, it, it's it's hard to really put yourself in that position, but she's obviously sat there and accepted it as part of, you know, the life of being in the Seven. 
And um, she was the only female member, like, before um, Lamplighter, I think his name was, retired. And so, you know, you can imagine what she's been going through. And, and I would have thought that maybe having a second female member might have spared her on to, you know, maybe step up and do something. But it doesn't seem like she's in that position. So I guess it's unfair to say she's culpable, but she's definitely not doing anything at the moment to, to fight it. But hopefully, with Starfire coming in, um, you know, Starfire can start to fight back. And, and I get the feeling that her and Huey, they're going to connect, and they're going to help each other out, and that's going to be, like, a key to it. Um, there was a weird moment with Huey when he was sitting at the table with uh, the, the lawyer, and he had that kind of flashback moment where he, you know, he shouted at him, told him where to go, and then he came back to his senses. And I don't know if that was some kind of an ability. Like, maybe he's super able and doesn't realize it, or whether, um, you know, it was just a, a momentary sort of in-his-own-head thing. Um, either way, I do like the idea of this guy who's very tame, very kind of nervy, um, sort of being the one to take on these super confident, and super charismatic, and super powerful heroes. Um, and Carl Urban. Carl Urban was great. I, at first, I was thinking, oh, he's the villain, you know, because you put Carl Urban in a sort of black leather jacket, make him look a little bit scruffy, give him a strong Cockney accent. You're thinking, yeah, he's a villain, you know. He's played some really great villains in this time. Um, and, you know, it turns out that he wasn't the villain. He's not an FBI agent, but I kind of guessed that from the beginning. Um, but it makes me wonder who exactly he is and what his purpose is. You know, so, um, yeah, th I mean, this episode, it was gory. I mean, we got that within the first five minutes, and I, I remembered seeing that in the trailer, but it didn't show you everything. Obviously, it showed you her sort of being taken out and then skipped the gory bit to show you just Huey standing there. Um, it was, it was, yeah. But, I mean, it's impressive because the budget for this show obviously is very, very high. And there were some great moments with regards to like the um, the effects, you know, um, the, the shot at the end of, of Homelander, like with the red eyes in the dark storm, that was an amazing shot to finish on. I thought that epitomizes who these people are very, very well. But no, I, uh, I thought it was a very, very good first episode. I'm going to go watch the second episode straight away. Can't wait. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much if you made it to the end of this reaction. Um, I hope you enjoyed my reaction and the analysis. Um, as always, if you did, please leave a like. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe because then you'll know when my other videos are coming out. Um, but in the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next one.